Well, well, well. Good morning, my sweet brownies. This is Phyllis. How you guys doing? Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I'm coming in today for a quick video, just a review on my new sugar substitute, which is monk fruit in the raw. Monk fruit in the raw. Monk, monk fruit in the raw is a natural uh, sweetener. It's um, not like Splendor and stuff, which is man-made. It's with the monk fruit. You can put your monk fruit in your um, cereal. You can even bake with it. I found this last year on the Dr. Oz show. And for us, it's working. We like it. And monk fruit has a very light, powdery substance. Very fine, very light. And it doesn't take a lot of it to sweeten your food. And what it does, the reason why it does not take a lot, you just put a little bit in, my husband put a teaspoon, or I put a half a teaspoon sometimes in his coffee. And what it does, it enhances the flavor of food. And it takes away the bitterness of whatever you're trying to sweeten. Um, you can bake cookies and cakes and pies with it, and it doesn't take a lot. So you get the true flavor of something. So now I can even taste coffee. I'm not a... Um, faithful coffee drinker like my husband. I think I drink coffee socially, just to sit down with him and drink coffee with family. Um, but you can actually taste the coffee. So I like monk fruit. It's kind of pricey. Uh, the bag's not all the way through. We've only, we've only used this once. And I guess you get that. It stops right here. Which is okay, but it's like six ninety seven a bag, even at Walmart. So, but it's worth it because you guys know what's harmful for me is sugar. Sugar is wasted calories and I'm not a diabetic, but it's wasted calories and can be very toxic for me. And those of you that are suffering with premenopausal, I'm telling you now, sweets will actually make your hot flashes worse. So you want to watch the sugar, especially at night, those sweets. So this is a great thing for those ladies. Um, Anybody suffer with diabetes and all that kind of other stuff or trying to lose weight, monk sugar, monk fruit in the raw. I'm not going to call it sugar. I'm sorry. It's monk fruit. Try it, guys. You won't be sorry. And so now I think I'm going to go outside here. I'm not on camera this morning. Oh, I missed the sun. The moon. But anyway, I'm here. In South Carolina again, so you all know why I came down to bury the uncle. And as a matter of fact, the funeral is today, uh, and we saw my aunt. She's still in hospice. Me looking at a day or two, just don't know. So I wanted to really get my mind off things for a minute, and just come out here and just relax and. Thank God for another day, for waking me up, for an opportunity to see this beautiful scenery. And we come, and it's just a place to relax, and and we have a good time when we come. So, we're here now, just hanging out with family. So guys, I want to just encourage you all to stay motivated to whatever your challenges are. What are you trying to do in life? I don't know. It may be change your diet, uh, modify your diet. The diet is what we eat. That's what one of my supporters reminded me of. Good morning, Warriors for Christ, ATL. Our diets are what we eat. When we say we go on a diet, that does not make sense. We really should be saying, I'm on a journey to modify my diet. So that's what we're trying to do here, trying to modify my diet. So whatever that is for you, um, diet modification, um, improve your relationship, go back to school, uh, grow your channel, whatever it is. I just want to encourage you all to stay motivated. Don't give up. Don't give up. Please don't give up. Because the worst thing is not trying. You don't want to real, live with some wish you coulda, shoulda, wouldas. You don't want that. You just want to just say, I tried. I did my best. But for me, it's nothing like connecting with nature. I'm an outdoor person. I love to walk. 
I love to fish. I love to just see new places and new things. And I guess sometimes when you have life challenges, it really makes you think about a lot of things. And you, it makes you realize what's really important. And what's really important is family. Establishing those memories and connecting with your creator. And I guess you guys already know, those you don't know, I'm going to share this with you all. I haven't shared it with a lot of people. I am a spiritual life coach. So I don't think I ever shared it with you guys, but that's also what I do. And sometimes when you say that, people think, oh, you just, that's all you do is videos. But that's more to us than just videos. We are creators in our personal lives, professional life, and here on YouTube. But when you hear me come this way, I think that's the spiritual side of me coming out. And I will be doing more on my live streams and working on a new channel. But I'm still the same old U-Haul, Discount Queen, Network Sundays. But I also have to be true to my other side. And it's going to be a hot day today. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for your love, your concern, your prayers. Thank you for reaching out to me. And thinking of me. So hang in there guys. And know. And remember. That you do have a heavenly father. That sits on the throne. And he is concerned with the affairs of his children. So take comfort in knowing that. And don't get bent out of shape. Of what's going on around you. Because things are never. As they appear. There's more to just what things look like. And there's more to a person than what you see. So remember guys, be a positive influence in your community. Be a positive influence in this community. Stay true to who you are. Stay genuine. And the blessing will flow. Don't get caught up in the numbers. Don't get caught up in what other people are doing. I guess I can't stress that enough. Because you will be happier in your life. If you remember these things, maybe small and simple, but remember there is a creator. There is someone greater than you. And it's not always about you. It's about making a difference, being a difference in the lives of others and being a positive influence, influence in your community and in this community. And guys, always pay it forward. There is a blessing, I'm telling you, to paying it forward to just to give and when you give you're not supposed to just blast it and tell everybody you do it in secret and your heavenly father will reward you openly it works guys that's the key to life the key to life is staying connected with your creator the only thing greater than yourself and have a positive relationship with each other influencing a positive influence on others. That's what it's all about, guys. And establishing memories and staying connected with your family. Take care. And I hope to be back on YouTube visually in the near future. Take care. And remember, don't sweat the small stuff. Because in the end, it's all small stuff. Take care. Bye-bye.